Time for a little fun on the channel. If you look at the table, you'll notice that I put two reds near each pocket. They're quite close to the fall of the pocket. They're also in a direct line and touching. That's an important aspect. The idea of the challenge is to put all 12 reds in as few shots as you can. Theoretically, it can be done in six shots. But at this stage, I have to admit, I have never done it in six shots. Perhaps you can. But whilst I've been attempting this, what I have discovered is this. If I play the shot with screw, like this, it's quite easy to pop both balls. That happens even if the two reds still touch in mind, but are slightly offline, or I aim slightly incorrectly, or I cue slightly incorrectly. It's still quite easy to pop those two balls. So as if by magic, I've set the balls up again, and this time I'm going to play the shot with topspin. Let's see what happens. Now you'll see there that the first red has gone in, the second one nowhere near. Now if I'd had them lined up perfectly correctly and I'd cued correctly, then in theory all three balls will go in. If the white went in, that would be no good for the challenge of potting all the 12 balls. So my question to you is, why is it more difficult to pop both the two reds with topspin than it is with screw. Even when the balls are slightly offline, it's still quite easy to pop those two reds with screw. Very difficult with the topspin. Obviously, if the white goes into the pocket, that's no good for the challenge, because you, once you've played a shot, you're not allowed to uh, go in off and pick it out again. You know, you play from where the white stops. So, on a final note, good luck with that challenge.